Like many underdeveloped places in the world, poverty has long played the remote areas of China. But things are looking up. The engine driving grove across China has now reached the nation's mountains. My name is Alessandro Golombievski Teixeira. I'm a professor at Tsinghua University in Beijing and a former special economic advisor to the president of Brazil. For 20 years, I have been doing research in the area of economic development. Ten years ago, I set my sights on China to find out how this country has been able to lift millions out of extreme poverty, breathe new life into rural areas and their people, and realize rural revitalization. So I have decided to see in real practice how China is changing the life of its people for better. In my quest, I have heard about a special location in Futian province near Nindang city called Shadang village. I have packed my things and I want to invite you to come with me to see what's happening in this village. So let's go. Built on a mountain facing Shushu Greek, with a charming wooden arch corridor bridge across the green water, the area around Shadang is beautiful. Surrounded by peace and tranquility, it's like a hidden gem lost land in the mountains. Known as the Siberia or Shonin County of Fujian province, Shadang was in the Dark Ages for centuries and only had electricity and open to the traffic in 1991. But as the old saying goes, early bird catches the worm, it's one of the earliest birds in the fight against poverty, blending traditional industry with modern technology. The per capita net income of the local farmers has risen from 186 yuan in 1988 to more than 20,000 yuan in 2020, an increase of more than 100 fold. Shadang is best known for its tea, and the place has been cultivating tea for more than 300 years. The tea industry accounts for more than 80% of the village income. This is good, not good, not good. No, no, yeah. no. In Atari's efforts to shed poverty, Shadag has gathered a cooperative of tea farmers that has helped them to look to a better future. We are now pushing the company and the company to the company. The company is mainly focused on the company and the company. It is mainly focused on the company. 呃这样的一种呃模式啊，然后我们这个农户啊，他已经不再单打独斗了，就是相当于呃公司和合作社已经为他们打开了市场，然后他们自己又作为这个茶园的这个管理者啊，去管理茶园，然后到了这个茶季到了以后啊，就是公司就会以高于市场价的
呃这个方式去收购它的茶青，然后呢进行加工，然后把它售卖出去。那么这个茶农还能得到百分之二十的这个茶青的这个溢价补助，就是在他们他们卖茶的这个价格上有百分之二十的这个回报。嗯，就所以说，我们这个茶农啊，不单单就简单来说，就是说这些茶农不单单就是说卖茶青可以赚到钱，他们还能参与这个我们公司的分红，这样的。Visiting the factory, I could see how they are building their capabilities by tapping into technology and innovation. This was an amazing practical class on how industrial tools can help raise. Living standards of the most remote locations in the world. However, getting rid of poverty is far from enough for people here, who are now ushering in a new stage of development, rural revitalization. I was amazed to see the farmers and the cooperative team talking to me about national and international markets, and also something that I could not have expected to hear in that location: branding. In Shadan, they have created a local brand called Taste of the Country Life. It has been selling all over China, and it will soon be available overseas. We created the Xiaxiang Wei Dao this public-facing this public brand, then we have many local products to this brand, then we sell them and sell them. As a result, sales revenue shown in county has been risen to more than 500 million yuan. But this could not have been accomplished without the help of technology. In their own words, the excellent tea produced by Taste of Country Life can not only be tasted but also can be seen. This left hand is our flavor. This is the taste of the South Shan Tea. The Kezhi Hua Hubin Ding Zhi Cha Yuan Distribution Center. This is the taste of the South Shan Tea. This is the taste of the South Shan Tea. This is the taste of the South Shan Tea. 点开看得到我们的这个茶园呢，从种植、采摘、管理到加工，整个一条龙服务啊！你看，这个就是我们登录进去啊，扫一下控制点，看一下我们的茶园啊。这个就是我们上党村定制茶园、嗯，我们的茶园的管理、种植、采摘到加工都能可视化。Shadan is now seeing speedy progress through offering superior high mountain tea. Tea has made Shadang's people prosperous, but the village's economic engine is fueled by more than just tea. Welcome to our live stream. Today, we have brought to you very special tea from our region. Now, riding the wave of 5G technology and the internet, riding the wave of 5G technology and the internet, People here can sell their carefully produced products across the country with just a smartphone. Now, how have you been attracting thousands, millions of followers to buy your products? What's the secret behind that? Um, is our work. We are every day shooting these related to farming themes videos, and that has attracted people from the cities or the villages. 这些人，他们一种思乡情节，还有城市里面对于农村的一种向往，他们对我们产生兴兴趣，关注我们，所以对我们产生信任之后，我们再把我们家乡的这些，呃，美好的产品推给他们。During my stay in Shadan, I have seen with my own eyes feelings and emotion how important it is to improve the life of its people. In Shadan way. They have in the center a cooperation between central government, provisional government, city government, community and companies, all focused to improve the life of its people. The commitment that Shadang showed to improve the life of its people is expressed in bringing technology, innovation, internet connection, 5G to its people. Many people would ask themselves if the Shadang successful model can be replicated, can be copied. I would say no. Many cities around the world, in Latin America, Africa, and in my country, Brazil, can be inspired by the Shadang model. 
Before I arrived in Xadang, I had many questions about how to solve poverty alleviation, rural revitalization and develop at the same time. What I found here in Xadang is not a secret, but is a path to development. People together working hard, challenge their limits and put people at first is the secret of this village deep down in the mountains of Futian. Progress has brought a sense of well-being to Xiadang's people. The elderly tell me they live a careful life and the children are joyful seeing to live in their own natural fun park but with less hustle and bustle. Besides enjoying the improving economy, people here are also enjoying a rich cultural life. As one of the places that still has the Fujian puppet show, part of UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage Preservation List since 2012. It's normal here for people to sit back and relax while watching a show. At night, when the lights are on, the whole village looks like a glittering dragon hovering in the mountains. From the once impoverished remote village to the thriving dragon of today, Xiadang has enjoyed the fruits of development. To keep development in a sustainable way, it's necessary to take every step on the road of rural revitalization and thus find common prosperity. Dear beloved wife and daughter, tonight is my last night in Xiadang. Over the past week, I've been experiencing unforgettable moments and I have met incredible down-to-earth people. I've witnessed people taking out of the poverty and giving a new chance in their lives. I've seen how development policies can change the lives of many ordinary people. I hope I can soon bring you and our daughter here to experience the same emotions and also to learn how important it is to care for people. I hope that together we can witness more changes like this in China. Love you so much, Alessandro. <laughs>